Hey y'all, welcome back to Ukulele Wine Time. My name is Catherine. We're gonna learn Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. Let's do it. Ukulele Wine Time. To play the song, you just need three chords. A minor, we're gonna use an E minor seven. We're gonna also show a little bit of that bass line that's in the song that, that just is so iconic. Um, and then a D minor chord. Now, if you need a slow walkthrough of all those chords, check out the timestamps below. I go through those nice and slow at the end of the video, your fingers, where to put them on the frets, etc. In this video, I'm gonna show you the main section of the song, so the chords and the lyrics. We're gonna check out the bridge of the song. I'm gonna give you a couple different strumming pattern options so you can mix and match and make your own creative decisions there on what strumming pattern to use. I'm also gonna talk about the starting pitch of the song so you always know where to start if you're singing the song. And then we'll do a whole run through of the song. Of course, we'll do a wine break because this is ukulele wine time. As always, wine is optional, but if you wanna sip and strum with me, you are more than welcome to. Today we're playing this song in the key of A minor. That's actually the original key that Bill Withers played this in, so if you want to ukulele and play along with Bill Withers, um, you will be able to do that. So we're in the key of A minor and we are in a 4-4 four, four time, which means our heartbeat of the song, we're counting one, two, three, four beats per measure. And with that knowledge, now we can jump into the verse. So the verse, or this is the main section of the song, it is eight measures or eight bars long. Um, and we'll take a look at that next. So I'm gonna walk you through this main section of the song and that's what you're gonna use for all of the verses. So the, really the only sections are this, this uh, we'll call the, it the verse, that eight bar section. We've got the bridge and that's really it. There's a little repeat section at the end but it's just repeating apart from the verse that you already learned. So we're gonna start with an A minor chord. So our first, uh, our first little chunk of music we're gonna go A minor for two beats and then E minor seven with an optional um, it turns into a G chord there and then back to A minor for four beats so here's what that's gonna sound like and then I'll break it down a little bit for you here we go one two three four A minor Time lesson, A minor, E minor seven, ain't no sunshine. Okay, and so what I'm doing, um, this is essentially showing that bass line or, or it's a way for us to play that bass line of the song on the ukulele. So what we're listening for is, so I'm playing this, that melody happens on your, um, G, C, E string, so your third string down, so open, and then uh, we're that's on the third fret, and then open A string. So that's the bass line we're listening for. And we're just gonna catch that a little bit on the ukulele. So we're doing our E minor seven for the first beat there and then you're putting your ring finger down to make a G chord. So that's where that bass line comes from. So with the whole chord it sounds like this. E minor 7, G. So it's still an E minor sound but we're just catching that bass line movement there and it's going to feel really good to play this. It's going to help you groove more when you're playing this song. Okay, let's actually just loop that a couple times together. Just those uh, two measures there. One, two, three, four. A minor, A minor, A minor, two, three, again. Two. Let's do it two more times. Three, four. Last time, A minor, two, three, four. 
All right, that is like the majority of the song. Okay, if you've got that down and you're showing that movement there, hopefully you're grooving on that. Okay, let's look at, um, let's actually put that with the lyrics. So this is the first kind of half of that verse. Now you've got a pickup going into the lyrics. So, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. So on the word gone, you start that pattern. Here we go. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. sunshine when she's gone and on that one we're actually going to hold that E minor 7 for four counts when she's gone she's always gone too long so on the word long we're actually moving to a D minor now for four counts long anytime she goes away and on the word way or sorry on the way of away we're back to our little pattern there a minor e minor wonder this time where she's gone let's put that all together you with me we're going to do it nice and slow here we go with the vocal pickup to start it off so that first ain't no sunshine when she's Gone, and then the gone is where we start our pattern. Here we go. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long anytime. She goes away. Wonder this time where she's gone. And then we're into the second verse. So I want you to feel really confident when, well, when you're playing this song. So let's actually go through the counting of these chords. So I'm not gonna say the chord names, I'll put those on the screen for you, but I'm actually gonna count our eight measures. Let's try it. Remembering that the pickup comes in before we start counting. Here we go. Ain't no sunshine when she's one, two, three, four. 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 Now that's the eight bars of the verse for all the verses. Now you have it and you can use that same counting for all three verses in the song. Let's talk strumming next. So I've got a couple different strumming pattern options for you. And if you've seen a couple of my other videos, you'll know that I love to talk about creative strumming, mixing and matching different strumming patterns, not doing the same strumming pattern the whole way through. And this is where you can really start to make some creative decisions, take ownership over the song that you're learning, and you get to decide, hey, I wanna do this strumming pattern at the beginning of the song or at this section, then I'm gonna amp it up, switch to this one, and then I'm gonna change it up here. So I'm gonna give you a couple different options so that you can do what you like. So we'll start with our basic strumming pattern for this one, um, just simple downstrokes on each chord. So that's what we've been doing so far to learn the verse. Um, and that's just A minor. Right? Very simple downstroke. And you can always um, add additional downstrokes here if you're like, ah, I'm like holding on a long time. You can add some additional downstrokes to fill in those four beats. One. my permission to fill those in as needed, as you feel it. Now, strumming option number two, we're gonna do a down, up, down, down, up, okay? Down, up, down, down, up. And that 
that happens twice per measure or it fills up two beats for that one strumming pattern. So let's try that out on a little bit of the verse here. And if you drop any of those down up downs and if you hold a note out longer, that's great. That just means you're feeling the music um, and that is what your version needs at this moment in time. So let's try a little bit of that out together. Here we go. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. All right, so you see how I held out some of those measures where it felt better to do so, it fit the music, and then you can go back into that rhythmic um, strumming pattern um, when there's more movement in the song. So see what feels good to you. You can pause the video, experiment with that. Maybe you write it out on your um, chord and lyric sheet where you wanna put your different strumming patterns. So we're gonna take that last one we, we just did and we're gonna add a mute to it, okay? So if you wanna add a little bit, bit more rhythmic variation there, you can do down, up, mute, down, up. Down, up, mute, down, up. Down, up, mute, down, up. And I'm just doing a simple, or you can do a chuck. I'm just doing a very simple mute with my knuckles on all of the strings. Down, And you can even just take that little rhythm there and use that in the song. That can be another one to mix and match. Um, so this is what that would sound like. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. You could do it here too. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone to roam Anytime she goes away Okay, so you can mix and match that down, up, mute with your up, down, up or you can just do the down, up, mute So now you've got all these different rhythmic tools in your, in your magic tool bag so you can decide when to use those for this, your arrangement of Ain't No Sunshine. So I hope you have fun with that. We're almost ready for our wine break. We've been working really hard, but before we do that, we're gonna hit up the bridge of this song. So the bridge is just six measures or six bars, and I'm gonna show you how to count that. So this is where the I knows happen, and technically there's no chord there. So if you want, you can hang out on an A minor, and then mostly mute your string. So to do that, um, you're just gonna lightly touch the strings up here with your left hand. Okay, and you could use your ukulele to, um, for some rhythmic percussion there. Um, and you can also hit an A minor chord to keep track of where you are. So let me show you the counting for that. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you. We're gonna do it two times. First time, We'll do it with the I knows. And I'm gonna show you the counting there. Um, and then the second time, uh, I'll play with you and we'll do it all together. Here we go. So the I knows start in the previous verse. Uh, Anytime she goes away, I know, 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 I know. Seems like a long time. 
but I've got an anchor here for you to aim for. So you've got kind of four bars of just I knows and you can just do whatever there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And you don't have to match the song exactly, you just gotta throw some I knows in there. On bar five, that's when you hit the I know, hey. Okay, so hey is your anchor on bar five, okay? Hey, I leave a young thing alone. And then on uh, bar six, the start of the bar six, you hit the loan of alone, loan. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And then on that gone, you're back into the verse, verse three. Now I'm gonna put the counting on screen for us again. We're gonna try it together. I'm gonna play and sing. Woo, let's try it, here we go. So coming out of the previous verse. Wonder this time when she's gone, wonder if she's gonna stay. You know, sunshine when she's gone, she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. And I know, I know. there when you hit that hey and for me if I was performing this song solo or even with um, a band like with a bass player an option for you is when you hit the hey you would hit that E minor for four beats so this is what that would sound like so you're chucking along on the I know I know I know I know I know hey I don't leave this young thing with E minor ain't no sunshine when she's gone and then you're into verse three so two options there for you for the verse just the rhythmic muting and I'm just doing a down down up down down up down down up down on my strings muting with my left hand if you want to throw in an A minor on the start of each measure that's a good place two three four to help you keep place of your counting. Um, and if not, if you just wanna do the rhythmic the whole time, that's cool too. I will say if you get off with your counting and you get lost, totally fine. Just be very clear when you come back in. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And you'll be fine. All right, you know what time it is? It's time for our wine break or your water break, wine is totally optional here at Ukulele Wine Time. Um, but I wanna say cheers to you for being here, for taking some time out of your day to be creative. I see you out there. I hope this video is helping you on your ukulele journey. And I just love that you're spending some time making some music. Um, and thank you for choosing me to be your teacher. Cheers to you. If you're finding this video helpful, I hope you cheers the like button below and please subscribe for more ukulele, more wine time, more ukulele wine time. I'm almost out of wine, so we better hit up starting pitch and do our whole song playthrough. So we're in the key of A minor, which means our open A string, that's our home bass. Do, da, 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 da. It's kind of our minor chord, minor scale sounding key there, and we're starting on a so below that. So that's an that's your open E string, but it's an octave below that. Da 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 da. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And so on the word ain't, you've got that open E string, but an octave below. Or if you're singing an octave below, hey, no sunshine when she's gone. If you've got those higher notes, rock it. Let me know. I want to see you sing that. That's amazing. 
is the one when she's away. That gets a little bit too high for my voice, but that's totally an option. Otherwise, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And gone, you are on an A. Okay, so those are two little anchors there for you. Ain't, your very, very first note you sing is an E. And then when you hit the word gone, that's an A. And that's the same for every one of those verses. And I know, I know, and, and for the bridge, it's the same. And I know, and is an E, and no is an A. Okay, we've covered starting pitch. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. I think we're ready for our playthrough of the entire song. Let's do it. Here's our starting pitch. Ain't no sunshine, one, two, three, four, one. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone to long anytime she goes away. This time where she's gone Wonder if she's gone to stay Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house to stay no home Anytime she goes away Okay, nice job on the play along. Did you make it all the way through? How was the bridge? Um, let me know in the comments below how it went for you. And if you record your own version and post it, please tag me. I would love to check it out. I want to see how you creatively put all together the different charming patterns. Thank you so much for joining me for another song here on Ukulele Wine Time. Again, cheers to you. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ukulele Wine Time. Here's a slower walkthrough of the three chords that you'll need to play Ain't No Sunshine. So we're gonna start with our ukulele finger numbers. So thumb doesn't get a number. We've got one, two, three, four. Those are our finger numbers. So we're gonna start with our A minor chord. So we need our second finger or middle finger on the second fret, one, two, on your top string or your G string. You're gonna push down with your fingertip all the way down to the wood. That is our A minor chord. And that is our home base of the song. So A minor, that's our key, our home base. Next, we're gonna play an E minor seven chord. So to do that, you need peace sign fingers. Peace sign fingers on the second fret, one, two. Okay, you're gonna go the second string down and then skip a string and then the last string closest to the floor or that's your, um, your G, C string and your A string. Okay, so those two fingers are on the second fret, so that's our E minor seven chord, okay? 
Now to show that bass movement, you're gonna, to, to show the next chord up from that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna keep those fingers frozen there, take your ring finger or your third finger and place it on the third fret on that string that you skipped. And it actually makes a G chord, if you're familiar with that. So that, again, that bass movement is, okay, and I'm playing um, the G, C, E, the E string there. Okay, so it's open to third fret for that bass movement. Adding the chord, it's E minor seven. Okay, so you're just adding that kind of bass movement there, linking um, to Bill Withers' original arrangement, which is always good to do. And then we're back to our A minor. The only other chord you'll need here is a D minor chord, so you can keep your first finger there for A minor. You're gonna add your third finger or ring finger um, to the very next string on the same fret, the second fret, okay? And then your pointer finger, your first finger up here is gonna go on um, your E string on the first fret. That is your D minor chord. All right, I hope that helps, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers! Ukulele wine time.